Hello, beautiful people of the world. This is Coach Dolph from Rankslate Boxing. Welcome you to our podcast, To the Bell. I'm here with my lifelong friend, Gustavo. Mm, that's hard. That was nice. Mm, that's nice. Oh, man, dude. Uh, a couple of big things in the boxing world going on and taking place. The big one is the guy that we've been talking about a lot in the podcast. Man, I mean, Andy Ruiz, Ruiz is up next to face Tyson Fury, and they're looking for July 22nd, and it's probably going to be in the UK is what I'm assuming. It's probably going to be in the really? United Kingdom. That's what I'm thinking. Man, what do you think uh, about that, man? I, I, I don't know if you – I've been texting you since I heard it. First time I heard it, I, I sent it on Facebook, and I, I sent it to you. I was like, is this true? And you was like, well, it's, they talking about it. Ooh, this was, I was like, dang, I hope it does happen. You said, I hope it does happen. Dude, I want to see Andy fight anybody. Because you, clearly you told me, like, Andy was, like, number five in the rank, number five, like, top five, top six, something like that. And I was then I asked you, I was like, well, how does that work? How does he get a chance to, to the to the bills if he's all the way hard? But, I mean, I guess if the people want it, they're going to give it to us. I mean, right now, I mean, Tyson Fury is the A side for any fight that he's in right now. I mean, he has some of the belts, and then so does Usyk right now. And that fight done fell through, so it's like, okay, what's the next big fight we can get? And, I mean, ever since I see him fight AJ, even, like, you know, him winning the first fight, losing the second fight, I'm I'm a fan of Andy Ruiz. Oh, yeah. So I think that any fight that he's in, people's going to want to watch it, you know? Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be huge. And there's a lot of fans for Tyson Fury. I don't know. I, I mean, there's always a 50% chance of winning a fight, regardless, no matter who's fighting. There's always a 50-50 chance. I think I, I think Tyson will win, but I'm rooting for Ruiz. Really? Yeah, I am. So I, like, I, I want. I would like to see Andy Ruiz win it, just because I mean, he's he's cool, man. Yes. He'd be representing like a little bit of everybody. So. Yes. I think I want to see. Yeah. I want to. I'd like to see him win and pull it off. Because I, I remember putting on the Snapchat on the Snapchat group. I was like, I saw uh, show it to y'all, whatever. And then uh, JT was like. I said I said something about I put a hundred on it on uh, Ruiz and JT's like you know he's gonna lose I was like well I don't care if he loses I still gonna put money on him yeah. like it is what it is and you know? dude I, we talked about before like I don't see nobody beating Tyson Fury I mean he's just he's such a big guy and he's got such a good style for that weight class but I, I would like to see Ruiz win that's what I want to see win yeah that's because I mean like literally he like you said he's already on, he broke history. Like, yeah, you know, he he's already the, he's the, he's the, he's the, the only Mexican, Mexican heavyweight, heavyweight yeah. ever to have a world champion, yep. like to have a world champion belt. So yep. I mean, he's already made history, but he brings so much to the table, man. He's got he, and he throws combos. <laughs> Yes. Like he doesn't just yes. throw one or two shots. That's how he was able to beat uh, Anthony Joshua in that fight. He was, he was he was at it. He, yeah, just, he he's very active, man. Yes. People don't people don't give him the credit that he deserves. For he, him to be that big, I'm like, dang, like he stays in there. Yeah, and he lets his hands fly, man. Yes. And uh, and it talks about I I seen an article that talked about it, and it said whoever wins is gonna go to Saudi Arabia for that big fight in December. And I've mentioned it. I haven't talked about it a lot in like any of the YouTube. Uh, podcast that we have, but I did mention like the YouTube shorts that Saudi Arabia wants to host a big a, mega fight. Th- yeah, just a mega fight one night thing, right? So whoever would win that is automatically submitted for that. So I mean, we'll see what happens. And then uh, the next for the heavyweight division is Deontay Wilder fighting Anthony Joshua, most likely in December. So I mean, that's another huge fight. I mean, that's been they've been beefing since like 2016, 2017 because oh. they both used to have the belts. But anytime they try to make that fight, Anthony would kind of back out. That's that's what I've seen. I don't know. That's what I heard. Like talking about it, like Anthony be the one kind of like not want to do it, declining the offer, so they could finally circle back and finally make that fight. And if that if if that does happen, if Saudi Arabia does host a one night mega fight, that would be huge, man. To have them as like the co-main and the main event be like uh, Tyson Fury and Usyk, that would be huge. I mean, that'd be really big for boxing. So I don't know how true it's going to be, but, I mean, they, they've been talking about it a lot, that it's getting closer and closer. And then I've seen Anthony Joshua in a post saying that Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder fight is 95% done. So they must, they got a few more so, things. So what, what, what does it take What does it take to, I guess, to make that fight? Like, but, uh, I mean, the, the longest part is, like, getting the contract set up because that's when they declare – you know, who's going to referee the fight? How big is the ring going to be? What glove brand are we going to wear? I mean, there, it's just a lot of stuff, like, going back and forth. And then if you're one of those fighters that, like, I want to get in your head, you could be like, hey, man, let's fight in a in a 24 by 24 box ring. And I'm like, no, let's fight in a 20 by 20 box ring, just to be petty, right? Uh-huh. And then, of course, that's not just me and you talking. You know, that's you saying this and then sending the contract to me, me going, nah, send it back. I don't like that. 
just me to be, you know, just to be an ass. So, I mean, it could be, there's a lot of things that go into play before making a fight. You know, it's not just, I want to fight you, you want to fight me. I mean, that's, the way I, thought, in that's the way I thought it was like. There's, there's a lot in there, man. And, I mean, we'll see. Like, De- I, as far as what I've seen, Deontay's been wanting to fight Anthony Joshua, and it just seems to be his side backing out. Why is so, he backing out, you think? Because Deontay has that, he has this right here. Mm. This is a, a a good night button, you know. He's mm. got that killer right hand, so nobody wants that. And so Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua is Eddie's, you know, golden goose. Yeah. Right. So Eddie Hearn is like the main guy for his team. He's like the main manager and all, like promoter, right? So he's he don't want nobody to beat Anthony Joshua. Right now, Anthony Joshua is starting to climb up again since he got beat by Andrew Reese. He's starting to kind of come back in there, and then he lost to Usyk and lost his belts. But that's like his golden goose. So he, I don't think he wants to see him lose. If he loses the Deontay Wilder, then it's like, well, who else you gonna fight? So, so is that why like uh, Isaac and uh, uh, Tank? That's why Tank don't want to take the fight because he's kind of scared. Of, uh, of, you think? I mean, maybe, but like I don't see that fight happening unless he gets a belt. And we talked about that before. Yeah. I'd love to see that fight, dude. I, like I'm a huge fan. Like I'll be rooting for Javante, but I, I don't think he's gonna do it because he don't have a belt. You know, mm-hmm. unless it's like a huge payday. But right now. Javante is like gunning for either Lomachenko, Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson. Like those are the main guys that he's gunning for now. The only one that makes sense would be Devin Haney considering he has the belts. He doesn't gain anything fighting Shakur. And I've seen a lot of people saying like, oh, Shakur should fight him. Shakur's a, Shakur's a beautiful fighter. Shakur hangs out with Timothy Bradley, Andre Ward, Terrence Crawford. These are huge names in boxing that have, I mean, a lifetime of knowledge. And each one of them are like considered goats in my eyes. Mm. So he's got unbelievable knowledge backing him up. That like, yeah. he, like his his homies, his buddies, or like Hall of Famers, like world champion status. Oh, so all they're the knowledge. All, yeah, they're a all bunch. The of, all the knowledge. They're a whole bunch of Michael Jordans in boxing. Ooh. So you know he has unbelievable knowledge, but what does he bring to Tank? Nothing. Nothing. So, and I'd love to see that fight. I, to be honest, I don't know who I'd have in that fight. But so, the only way Javante is going to face you is if he's getting a big payday. A big payday like, or a belt. Or he's getting a belt number two. That's it. That's the only way. So he's done, done like doing them petty fights. Them, yeah, uh, he's, 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 like, you know, he's, like, he's 28 years old, and he's just trying to solidify his legacy. Oh. Okay. If it's not going to give him that belt and give him that big stake, then he, he really don't want it. Hmm. You know, I mean, and I don't blame him. He's the A-side. But that should that should inspire and motivate Issa Cruz to get back on that horse and let's go after it. Let mm. me get a belt and then I'll fight mm. him or whoever. Because the the main point of boxing is to be the world champion. It ain't about to fight Javante and I still fight. get I still get confused on the belts. You know, like there's four for each weight four class. Four belts, yes. And then what they do is one of them will challenge the other one and they'll get it. And then that person fights the other one and they want to, you know, get unified. So like and you, I do like that about UFC. They have just one belt, belt yes. for each weight class. And then in boxing, they have the IBF, WBA, WBC, WBO. They have four different ones so, for the weight class. So there are four different ones. What's the WBA, WBC, and what's the other ones? Like, what Like what you got to do to get that? I mean, just this. It's all – it's that organization. So they might have something so, separate for that. So, so, and that's like – so some fights, they'll have, like, the WBA will mandatory you fight this guy. So, and if you don't fight them, they vacate your belt. So, like, them four belts, is it like a – how do I put this? So it's like a like uh like a tournament, like you know, like uh, for example, yeah. for like for example, east side, north side, west side. So like you gotta fight this. Do you get the WBC? You fight this on this on this uh, area. Yeah, you I fight mean you you'll see it. Like you'll see like there was a fight for uh, Shakur and it was like the WBC like eliminator. Yeah. So like he won. Now he automatically gets a chance to fight. Like now he's up next to fight for the belt. Can they put all the belts at once? Yeah, if they want, like, I, I mean, it's just all in that contract, right? Like, because Devin Haney has those belts at 135. Devin Haney is the world champion at that So, which, which belt is more important out of all four of them? They're, they're, all, they're all the same? same? Yeah, they're all just, wow. it's a belt, right? There's not one wow. that outweighs the other. Yeah, right, right, right. So, uh, but Devin has all of them. He has all the belts. Dang. So, I mean, Javante, if he wants to be a world champion, he's got to fight Devin Haney eventually. He has to. And I, and I talked about that before. Devin Haney did an interview, and he said that he wants to fight he wants to fight the winner of the fight that happened Saturday with Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia if he stays at 135. Because he's been in the same weight class for a while. If he goes up in weight, because he's getting older, if he goes up in weight, he wants the winner of Tiffany Lopez and Josh Taylor. But neither one of those fights are those big paydays. Nobody really want to see those fights. They want to see... Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, Javante Davis, Devin Haney, Ron Garcia. 
They're, those are the fights they want to see. They don't want to see him go from weight class to fight. That's not a big payday. That's not nothing big. You know, and then you don't know this, but Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, they fought in the amateurs a few times. So that, that'd that be a big payday, too, because they'd be like, oh, They already got they blood. They, yeah, they've already, they already got yeah. that stuff. They, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, you know, like the trash talk and gold based off that, I'm going to beat the amateurs. I'm going to beat yeah. the 2000s of the amateurs. This is just another day right another here. Another day right there. Now yeah. we just ain't got to wear headgear. You know, they can do that. Get, All get that back and forth. Still that fight. Yeah. Get, get, yeah. But, I mean, you heard I, of, I, I, and I, this is funny. So we talked about it yesterday, and I looked up uh, Issa Cruz the other day, and there's no, he had nothing in line for any fights. Right I know. Now. Like I, I was, I was watching the thing say something about it, like nobody wants to fight him, like no, like they ain't got nothing. And I don't know because this is weight class, or or what. But I mean, I wish even if it's just a regular old fight, I want to see him. I want to, cause I, I want to watch it. I want to watch him. Yeah, yes. you want to see him actually yes. get there fight. Yes. And you watch the fight, fighting you know round for round. You see uh, where they said when uh, the pay per view with uh, Garcia and uh, Devante, where uh, it, people were getting charged like three or four times. Mm, I did yes. not see that. Yes. They said they were getting charged two or four times. So they called it. People said, well, we just going to give you the free fire Canelo this weekend. This coming up Saturday, I think. What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's next Saturday. Next Saturday, yeah. Next Saturday. They said, like, they were charging him, like, three. Some people got charged four times. So they called him. It was like, well, we just give you the free fire Canelo or whatever. I would be like, nah, give my money. <laughs> like, yeah, because they might not be a fan of Canelo. Exactly. They just wasted yeah. all the money. Yeah. Uh, I seen an inter- I seen a- I read an article today talking about that fight too with him and it, no. it said that yeah so he's fighting John Ryder and it's already talking about that he's already he's overlooking John and wants the rematch with Bivol in September that's his plans he wants he plans on fighting him next Saturday and then, and then fight he wants to September? fight Bivol yeah fight Bivol in September wow but I mean and I talked about it before I don't know if he wants to fight him at 175 again or 176 or if he wants to fight him. Like, because Bitball done said he wants to fight him at super middleweight because Canelo has all the belts at 168. If Bitball beats him at 168, now he's unified. Now he has all the belts. He has a couple belts at light heavyweight, and now he'd have all the belts at super middleweight. So, when you go, like, let's say you go lightweight, and then you go middleweight, and you want all the belts on the middleweight, on the lightweight, do you take your belts, or do you got to give them up? When you go, I mean, when you, you have move, them, when you, you move just up. Now, now what it is is like so Canelo's done the same thing. Like Canelo has fought and had belts at light heavyweight and had belts at super middleweight. You just go back and forth wherever you get a fight. Like if they say, okay, we have all oh. these belts, you're challenged to fight so and so light heavyweight. Well, you got to go up and fight him. That's hard. And then they're like, now you got to go down and fight this guy at super middleweight. Hey, I give them props. Yeah, I, mean, I give props to whoever. What's, the, what's good about it? That. What's good about it is most of those big fighters like that, they only fight twice a year. So you're only fighting, you're fighting like once at the beginning of the year, and you're fighting at the end of the year. So you have all that time to to fix your your, your, you know, your weight. weight. Yeah. Yes. So so it's not it's not as bad, and they're making a, a lot of money doing that. But it would suck for Canelo. I feel bad for Canelo if that's the case. Like if he comes down and wait, because which is which is harder, right? Going because it, I mean, it's not easy for Canelo to go up and wait and doing that going to 175, 176. So I just wonder if Bivol can go down. With Bivol, is a little bit no, they're they're the same age actually. So if it's gonna be easier for him to come down and wait and beat Canelo because Canelo's is naturally like at that size 168. Mm-hmm. So Bivol's not. So it might be harder for Bivol to come down and wait and then fight Canelo. Hmm. But we'll see. You know, like he wants the rematch. The only big thing is we don't know if he wants to be at light heavyweight or if he wants to be at super middleweight. Who would you would like to see? Or do you even care? Like Canelo, I, to me, I really don't care. Right, right. right. I, I think it would be a good fight regardless. Right, like, regardless of which weight. Yeah. Okay. I, I'd watch it because uh-huh. I don't really have I don't have any horses in that race. Right, right, right. right. So I just watch it to be a boxing fan. Right, 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 right. Uh, Canelo then said in an interview, they said, "What's your plans for this year?" And he said, "I plan on going back and fighting Bivol at light heavyweight." He said he wants to fight light heavyweight. Bivol don't want that. Bivol wants him at 168. He's like, if I, I don't beat him once at this weight, let me steal your belts now. Ooh. That's what Bivol wants. Bivol wants to come down and take his what and take all his belts. So, and he would be unified. So, you know, you, you, like, you've been watching boxing pretty much most of your life or whatever. So, how, in, you, in your opinion, which one, how how long do you think Canelo got before he started, like, you know, like, coming down? Uh, I think he's got a while. He's, Dude, he's got only while? like 31. Yeah, 31? I think he's got... He's got another like five years on him. Five he's, years. Man, Manny Pacquiao just retired like a year or two ago. And he just said he was gonna fight. Yeah, I mean, on the on the on the on the on the uh, Garcia. I, we'll see. I'd like to see Manny Pacquiao fight again. Yeah, he said he's gonna fight. He but said he's in uh, in works. You see, what I'm saying? I mean, there's, I mean, he he's got a while to go. Okay. Here's my thing though. I mean, here he has like over like over. He's like I think his record when he fought uh, whenever he fought Bivol was like 57 and like one. 
So he has like quite a bit of, a record, bit of like yeah. quite a bit of fights under him. Uh, and do and, you think you think he'll become a promoter? Uh, to be honest, no. I see no? I see Canelo riding off in the sunset. To be honest, he, he's very humble. He, he got. I tell you what, I seen things in uh, TV that he got like gas stations in Mexico. Like he got like he he's like he knows what he's doing with his money. Like he's he said. So he's like the he's like the Canelo of Mexico, like Manny is of the Philippines. Yeah. Cause, cause Manny. I, I don't know Manny. No, well, I think I like, Manny. Manny was more. I think Manny had more power than Canelo. I could see Manny that. was. I was like, telling Davis about it the other day. He did, he didn't know about it, but I was like, Manny Pacquiao used to be like a senate for the Philippines. Yes, yes. They love. Yes, him, they love man. Yeah. And I was telling him they did. He had a fight for. Uh, I don't know if it was the last fight he had or the one before that, but I was watching like All Access, and he gets up in the morning like another day, goes outside, and he has a whole line of people at his house, and he gets up and hands them money. Yeah. And he'll just grab money and hand it to him. I mean, they they love him in the Philippines, man, because he's like he's like the people's champ. I mean, he takes care of all of them. But going back to that, I don't see Canelo really being a promoter. I think he would just kind of ride off in the right sunset. Right off the sunset, whatever. I, yeah. Because just... I mean, the, like you know, Eddie Reynoso would probably still. I mean, Eddie Reynoso has a, quite a few fighters underneath him. You have Oscar Valdez. You have the the Cuban Flash. You have all these other fighters underneath him. So I think the like his legacy would keep going. He's between all the other fighters. Like they feel like they'll always make him irrelevant. Like mm. they'd be like, Oh, this is this is the Cuban Flash fighting, you know, he was trained alongside Canelo, one of the greatest of all. Like they'd always make him irrelevant. Always make him make a relevant, But yeah. I don't think that he would I don't I don't see him being a promoter. Right. I don't think he'd want to do that. What about the little kid showing me that he fights with Canelo and Canelo? I didn't know the kid's name, but man, he's a, he showed him to me you showed him to me, he's a big boy. He's a hoss. Dude, I think anybody like if you have Canelo on your side, you're you're bound for greatness. Yes. Is what I think. Yeah. And that's the same for any of those fighters. Look at look up at Floyd. I mean Floyd got like Devin Haney started with Floyd, Javante Davis started with Floyd. You have a lot of like big names that Shakur that? Stevenson trained out of that gym. I mean, you got a lot of guys that that came from underneath Floyd, and they kind of he kind of laid out the blueprint. Who was that one that was with Mayweather? And he was real good. He talked a lot of smack. He fought that uh, Argentinian guy. I said Argentina, or someone from South America, and like he he was a he's the first one that beat him. Oh, what's his name? Um. I mean, I forgot. I can't think of his name, but like they were fighting, they were they were fighting, actually fighting, and then uh, the dude, the the dude grabbed him from the back and started humping him. Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner, yes, yes. Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner. Fought, uh, 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 Marcus Madonna. Madonna, yes, Marcus yes. Madonna. I seen that fight. That was a great fight. Yeah. Oh man, A B. Yeah. Uh, A B was supposed to fight uh, a while back. In Is the he fight still canceled. fighting? Yeah, he's still fighting. I got a picture, A B. What? Yeah, at the Caleb Plant fight, he was he was down. So he was uh he was on the floor level, and one of the like security guards walked off, and I was like, well now's my time to shine, and I walked down there and I was like, I said, AB, AB, can I get a picture with you? And he was just like, he was out of it, dude. I said, hey man, let me get a picture with you. And he didn't say nothing, so I sat down beside him, got my phone out, Tish. got up, and walked off. So did Taylor. As soon as I, as soon as I walked off, Taylor like went, like met me halfway, went and I got a picture with him. He was cool, like but, like yeah, AB was cool, man. Was like it? it's just weird, man, cause like. How he was interacting with me and Taylor is like completely different than how he interacted with him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, I would like, see, I would see him like a jerk, like a. He like, didn't even, like, he didn't even say a whole lot. To be honest, like, I mean, he knew I was like trying to get a picture. He didn't say nothing, and then I like sat down beside him, got a picture, and walked off. And you can see him; he's like looking at me in the, in the picture, like he's looking at the camera, like he knew what I was doing. But I don't know if he was like, if he was high or whatever. Like, <laughs> he was. You know, I don't know, but dude, I noticed when he walked in. As soon as, as soon as he walks in the room, he was stuck like Chuck on that yeah. chair. <laughs> As soon as, as soon as he walks to the arena, I said, man, that's AB right there. And I walked down there and got a picture of him. And my buddy Sam was sitting like two or three rows in front of me. And he didn't see me walk down there. All he seen is I posted a picture on my story on Instagram. And he goes, Dalton. And I was like, yeah, man. He goes, how'd you get that picture of AB? I said, I just walked down there. <laughs> and he was like, man, what? Because I walked by him to go down there and get the picture. And he didn't see me walk by him. Mm. He was like, how'd you get that picture? Mm. And I was like, I just walked down there and got it. Because they got security guards right there. You're not allowed in unless you have like a lantern. Mm-hmm. For ground level, but I mean that's where all the celebrities are at, man. Like I think uh, Ron Upchurch was there, Jelly Roll was there, AB was there, uh, he, uh, Lennox Lewis, a former heavyweight champion of the world, he was there. I mean they, there was big names like on like the floor seats right here, and I'm just walking down, like I'm up up here, walk down, and I'm like I see them all sitting down, and I was like, yeah, let me get this picture real quick, because I was like, if I don't do it now, I'm never gonna get it. You know, when like when am I gonna meet Adrian Broner? Oh man. Dude, I was, I was hyped. I would just, I would just sit right there beside him, like I'm with him. <laughs> What's up, dude? It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, I, I love going to those fights, man, and like getting to meet them and 
and just being there with him, it's awesome. A B, like he had so much potential, man, but just women and money and yeah. just it, it got to him, man. I don't know if you know, but he rapped, you know that? No. You can look up Adrian Broner on like Apple Music and he's got a it, it ain't really? Peter, no, I, I mean I'm not a fan of it, but I mean he's yeah, he he dilly dads and rap. Uh I don't know, man. I mean, but you see the guys that like Floyd has that come up, like yeah, like, like and, and they and they make yeah. it, they make it good. Uh, you seen that video on ADS? I know I talked about it before, like one of the shorts where he uh went and choked out, choked that guy, choked uh, out Logan Paul, Logan Paul like, like yes. Yep. Uh, I was reading a thing today actually that he turned himself into New Orleans. Hmm. I think it was Thursday, Thursday morning. He turned himself into the police for a uh, second degree battery. Damn. But he's trying to he's trying to plead that it was self defense. Which you see the video, he like dude approaches like Nick Diaz. Yeah. And to be honest, man, if I was to look alike, it could have been a lot worse. He choked you out, yeah, but he could have busted you up, broke your nose. I mean, dude, it could have been way worse. He didn't. He choked you out. He, he put you to sleep. But it, and let you down. <laughs> yeah. Go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. And he could have knocked you out, broke your nose. I mean, just went at it. Oh, and then KSI mentioned that he wouldn't mind taking Nick Diaz's spot. So you don't think Nate Diaz going to fight? Oh boy. To be honest, it's still early, man. It's still early. I mean, you got May, June, July. Hell, that's like three and a half, four months away from now. So I mean, you got you got a while for that fight to even take place. But KSI is just already like kind of easing up. Nah, like, he man, did, I'll that's my his business and letting that be. Like, I'll take care of it. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, man. Like I think when that fight, I mean, it's not a if, it's, it's a win. KSI and Jake Paul is gonna fight. I don't know when, but when they do, it's gonna be it's gonna be huge for like the YouTube fight. Like I talked to people, man. And to be honest, I wasn't even like a, a, a like a big fan or even in the YouTube box and stuff until I met Crip and then Caleb talks about it. Cause Crip talks about it. He's like, man, like there's a lot of big names in like the YouTube boxing and I don't I don't watch any of it. And he talks about KSI and Jake Paul. And I now I take that and I kinda of play with it, like I experiment with it. I'll, I'll ask kids, who you think would win, Jake Paul or KSI? And there's there's one or two. I, I never hear the same thing, just like any other fight goes, but they're People hear more about that stuff than they do the other one. Uh -huh. So the older generation would want to see Nate Diaz fight Jake Paul, but the younger generation would much rather yeah, see KSI. Jake Paul and KSI, yeah, KSI because they're both YouTubers and they influence the they kids nowadays. Yeah, they would want to see it. So Man. we'll see. I made a I made a short the other day and I talked about it. You know what next big fight is going to get as much hype that the Javante and Ryan Garcia fight did, and I mentioned Tiffany Lopez, Josh Taylor. Loma and Devin, and I mentioned the Nate Diaz and Jake Paul fight. I think that's going to be like the next. Me personally, I think it's going to be like the next big fight will be Jake Paul. Honestly, Jake Paul fighting anybody. I mean, he he sailed. Like people people want to see him either in the ass or in oh, yeah, the Yep, yep. So I mean, only time will tell. I mean, you know, that's like when we, like that's with anything. When we get old, when people get old, they they look at young people like, man, that's stupid. Like with this, like, which I understand because yeah, when I was young. People used to, older people used to tell me stuff that I did or the stuff that I hear or music, sports or whatever. That's stupid. Who this? Who this? Now I'm on that point where like, damn, I'm the ones that saying I don't want to watch that. You know. The way that I see, it, if it makes money, it makes sense. And it's true. I mean, that's how I see it, man. And and that's how they see it. Like, you know, if you were to look back ten years ago and you tell, hey, Nate Diaz, you're gonna fight Jake Paul. He but man, I ain't fighting mm -hmm. Nate Diaz. I ain't fighting mm -hmm. Jake Paul. Jake Paul yeah. And then he gets older and he's like, well, I wouldn't make a lot of money. That makes sense. <laughs> you know, I, I, hey, I, I, I go ahead. Money. I go ahead. That might be the biggest payday he'll get. I mean, ever. Honestly, it sucks. Dude. I mean, I'm still, I'm still somewhat salty about that. That the UFC fighters don't make as much money. Man, the box, I mean, you know it, it sucks. I mean, I'm I'm right there with you, man. These these guys are sacrificing their life in and, there and, for for man. our entertainment. Yes, you know. And even with that being said, that comment I just made that circles back to the Ryan Garcia fight. Man, I seen uh Andrew Tate made a post. It was like, man, I see a lot of you guys talking smack about that body shot, but y'all won't last one round in the ring with anybody. Cause them body shots, man, like they might not seem like they hurt, but oh, dude, they, they're horrible. So he's like, I don't want to see none of y'all talking smack I about it. I got hit. One time, it wasn't in my on, on the gut. It was in my Johnson with a football, and it knocked the breath out of me. Like I was like, couldn't breathe. I was like, oh man, like yeah, it don't feel too good. No nah, man, them shots they're, 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 they're like they sneak up on you, man. Which one like, you prefer taking a shot to the face or a shot to the? All day. All day. All day, cause you gotta get past my guard, right? You know? <laughs> when you get hit in the stomach, I mean, surprise. They are, man, and I've noticed like. When when you land a good body shot, you're gonna land it more if they're throwing punches on you. 
it's hard for me to land a body shot whenever you're in like defense mode, right? Yeah. But the second you open up, the same shit Javante did to Ryan. He waited till Ryan came in to throw his combo, and then he threw it. He snuck it in. Ryan wasn't thinking about he thinking was gonna, stomach. He was gonna come. Yeah. I'm on the I'm on the you know I'm not on the receiving side. I'm giving it. And then as soon as he lands that body shot, he's like, oh man, I didn't land anything, but he snuck it in there. And dude, yeah, it's. Them body shots, man, they're way worse than a headshot, man. Mm. And like, even, like, and, like, your brain tells you you're good. Like, your brain's like, man, you're good. Get up. But your body's like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you're, you're going to say that. And, you're gonna say, oh. <laughs> and that's what sucked, man. Because, oh, like, man. I've seen some fights where, like, they want to get up. And they try to get up. And, like, and they I can't. can't. I they can't. can't. I, mean, you're, I mean, you're, like, mentally, you're like, I'm fine. I'm straight. Yeah. But your body's like, nah, bro, you're going to have to stay here for a second. Yeah. Your body's, like, your body's shut down. I mean, yeah. it's. Like, you always hear people talk about in combative sport, a button. You got a button here, a button here, a button here. Like, you know, your temple, your chin, like, you have all these buttons. When they hit that button, dude, there's nothing you can do about it. There's there's nothing Lights you can do about it. I mean, and, I, oh, man, like, it does suck. Like, I, like, even Shakur did an interview, and he was like, man, I think he could continue. I'm pretty sure he could continue. But, you know, like, like he, he brought up money. Like, okay, he could have took – he could have took more punishment – and then showing everybody he was the champ, you know, or like he was about that life, or he could have just stayed down and got that check within seven rounds and went home. Because he wasn't all bruised up. He wasn't fucked up. Like, uh-huh. I mean, he just had he had a uh, bloody nose, and, and that was it. He wasn't. So, so is that why you said, is, is that why you think that he didn't make no comments when the dude asked him, he said, what do you think about this? And he said, I ain't got nothing to say about it. I, I mean, I don't know, man. And they talked about, like, you know, did you want to get up? And he's like, yeah, you know, like, yeah, he wants to get up, but he waited too long. I, mean, I think he could have. Like, there for a second, I was like, no, I don't think he's staying down. I, think, I thought he was going like, to get up at eight. I thought he was going to get up at eight. Because he seemed like, yeah, he yeah, got he down. Like, like, yeah, But, I mean, again, and them body shots just take it out of you. Them body shots, when you're like, no moss, no moss. I ain't going to lie. Just... I ain't going to lie. You know, I talk a lot of shit and stuff. What? If I, if I get hit, I'm going to be staying down. I ain't getting back up. Just said... They throw a faint. I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm, I'm, no, once, like, I'm about to hit you. He'd just be like, ah. Once I get down, I'm not getting up. You see how hard it is for me to get up? No. I'm just like, pay me. Like, Just give me that check. Give me that check. First, First round. First round. Put your head or down. I'm down. And where my money at? So I can go home. Because I ain't mm. trying to talk to nobody. Mm. Well, you got anything you want to say, guys? We'll wrap it up. You got anything you want to say? Oh, man. Just subscribe, like. Tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell the side dude, the boyfriend, the girlfriend, the brother, the sister, just to everybody to subscribe. Tell them all. Tell them all. Everybody. If you guys like what you see, you know, we post every Thursday. Thank you guys for watching, listening to us. You have a great day and time.